So, Congressman, you are also out with a new book that chronicles the lies of nine trailblazing former members of Congress since the 19th century, including profiles of former representatives like Shirley Chisholm, Margaret Chase Smith, Oscar Stanton DePriest, and more. The book is titled Courage in the People's House, Nine Trailblazing Representatives Who Shaped America. Tell us a little bit about how you selected uh, these particular nine and what Americans should learn from them. Yeah, well, taking a step back just more generally, to me, the book is is about hope. It's trying to give readers and Americans a sense of hope and optimism about our country and the ability for our federal government to do big things and address big challenges. As we've talked about, you know, particularly in this current political environment, which is bursting with empty noise and can be very vitriolic, it is easy for folks to become cynical and, and perhaps jaded and develop a skepticism about our federal government and the ability uh, of uh, of our government as a as a whole collectively to solve big challenges and i believe the best way to push back against that cynicism is to remind us of our best examples and these nine individuals incredibly courageous brave members of congress ordinary people who did extraordinary things who stepped forward to serve their country uh, and the constitution uh, in their time and uh, uh, you know the various individuals some of them are people whom of course will be well familiar to most americans particularly those who follow the workings of congress people like uh, of course the trailblazer shirley chisholm others uh, and barbara jordan uh, others are not so well known and uh, my goal was you know to essentially provide the american public with these stories in an effort to inspire them to perhaps become a participant in their democracy and particularly young folks uh, to pursue a career in public for service to step forward and 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 be a part of shaping and and, and saving our republic Congressman, this is Eddie Glaude. Good morning. It's, uh, so wonderful. I'm looking forward to, to diving into the book, but I can't help but place it in conversation with the earlier comments you made about the state of the Congress. In some ways, you're giving us this description of profiles and courage, a kind of echo of JFK's book in some ways, but you're also juxtaposing it against what we're currently experiencing in terms of leadership. It's almost as if you're trying to suggest that there's an absence of statesmen and stateswomen in our current moment. Talk a little bit about how the book intervenes beyond just inspiring everyday ordinary people, but intervenes in terms of the house that you're currently working in now. Well, it, you've articulated that dichotomy well, uh, uh, Professor, and it's it's one that I think I and, and many other members of Congress, and I suspect many Americans, struggle with every day, uh, because of course, as one you know looks at the Congress today, if they were watching the rancorous debates on on C-SPAN, uh, they would be forgiven if they came away with the impression that the kind of courageous acts uh, that are detailed in this book. You think of people like Oscar Stanton DePriest, the only black member of Congress when he served in the early 1930s, who, who literally led the effort to desegregate the member's dining room, a, a restaurant mm -hmm. that me and my colleagues use to this day. Uh, it's it's tough to find those examples in this current day and age. And, and yet, as I talk in the epilogue, although these acts of political courage are rare, they still very much exist. And perhaps the most salient example for me in my own personal experience in the Congress was during the impeachment trial of 2021. And as we talk about the former president and the various legal headwinds that face him, as you know, Professor, uh, there were many politicians who ultimately lost their careers because they chose country over party. The most prominent example being Liz Cheney, my colleague uh, to the north. We, we uh, represented districts that are adjacent to each other in northern Colorado and Wyoming. And as we know, she... Uh, of course, supported impeachment and lost the third highest ranking position in the House Republican Caucus because of it. And so I do think that there are any myriad of examples today across the country at local, state and federal government. Uh, we may have to look a little bit deeper to find them, but they are out there. And of course, my hope is that uh, the, the greatest acts of political courage are to come, that there will be readers of this book, again, particularly young folks thinking about what kind of career they want to have and how they want to contribute to the country that might decide to do the same.